guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. How are you? Welcome to this, this week's yin reading for June the 9th until the 16th. So I'm going to be using um, the Romance Angels, Call It Baron Reed, and the Witch's Tarot uh, for the reading. This is going to be uh, the machine spread. Okay, so let's pull the the cards first then I'll go through the positions so this is going to be um, your present self your past self your future self and I'm going to grab a card from the bottom and I'm using the call berry for the past present and future Okay, and for the uh, energies that are being brought into the past, the future, the present, I'm using the Witch's Tarot. All right, good. So let's begin with the overall energy from the bottom of the deck. We have free yourself. So it's time to take back control of your life. Uh, and we saw this in the Twin Flame reading as well. Getting control, grabbing those reins, um, freeing yourself. And um, I just finished doing the Yang reading and that was also a, th a similar theme. However, there's the sense that he has freed himself. Um, but he's still in the conflict. He's still in this chaos, uh, but he's moving to a calmer state. So that's great. You're both freeing yourself. So your present self is unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So um, the feminine self is withdrawing, possibly from the connection um, you know, those romantic feelings have dwindled. So hopefully we can turn that energy around. That was definitely a theme for the month of June. So what is the present position? Soulmates. Unrequited love and soulmates. So this is a twin flame card. There, I don't know. Okay, so there's an imbalance here. You you know who your twin flame is. You love them. You desire them. You want to make make a commitment. You want to get away together. That's what the twin flame reading was about. Um, but those feelings aren't being reciprocated, and that could be vice versa as well. You know. You could be the one withdrawing because that is your energy um, and, you know, your a twin flame may be in the environment and, you know, making romantic gestures, you know, expressing their love. That was the main theme for the twin flame reading. So the past position we have, go the distance. So this is movement forward. This is, you know, seeing the finish line. You're almost there. It's a very... Um, exciting energy but it's also commitment to that long-term goal the past self deception wow synchronicities someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so you feel that you're being deceived lied to 
again, look at how this feminine energy is risen above the masculine um, is making an effort, but the feminine is cut off emotionally. And that was actually an energy that was coming from the masculine's past too. So check yourself. Make sure you're not the one who is projecting this negative energy. Um, but what I feel here is a movement away from that, you know, that feeling like you're being betrayed into a more positive frame of mind. You, you're still holding on to some fears that you're going to be hurt. Um, but, you know, there's this movement towards soulmate, towards love. Okay, so the future we have serendipity so this feeling of luck the tides turning very strong on the masculine side repeated in his his reading as well and it's being represented now on the feminine side so you know this is good luck coming towards you but it's also serendipity chance meetings you can't plan for you know um you can't plan for the time of meeting your soulmate. It just happens. So your future self, playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Awesome. Moving from deception, conflict, negativity into playfulness, childlike freedom, innocence. Shift in perspective. Done deal. Awesome. Proud of you guys. So, the energy you're bringing into the present is the King of Cups. Um, as I was shuffling, I noticed the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And I had a feeling he was going to show up again. So, the King of Cups is the King of Love. Pure, innocent. Uh, love balanced with this mental strength. Um, so the energy you're bringing into the present is a connection possibly with a water sign. Um, this could also be your energy being mal uh, balanced emotionally and mentally. So we'll see what the extended reading says. I'll pull some cards for that. Okay. The energy you're bringing into the future from the present tower, sudden disruption, change. Um, so your, the illusions uh, will come down. Um, anything built on a faulty foundation was meant to come down to make room for new. So there will be something that happens suddenly and it frees you from either the prison of the mind or... Yeah, I would say it's from the prison of the mind because we have that deception card there, right? Feeling deceived. So it's a sudden realization, and then it brings serendipity and playfulness into the mix. It has to do with your soulmate. Um, so what does the future want the present to know? What? Four Swords is the exact same card that was in the Masculine's reading. Same position, same card. Four of Swords. There's still some healing to do. Um, take time to rest, consider, withdraw from negative energy, negative vampires, or, you know, vampire, um, energy vampires, oh my God. Okay, and so what does the past want the present to know? What? The Queen of Pentacles, you guys saw me shuffle. The Queen of Pentacles was the energy that was being brought into the future from the masculine. So the past wants the present to know um, that you are that um, motherly, nurturing energy. The masculine is looking for this energy right now. It was coupled with the Empress card. A must-see. You must see that last video. Uh, so embody this stability be kind be gentle 
create a beautiful home environment um, on the external as well as within. Holy moly, that's amazing. All right, so now I'm going to pull one card from the Osho Zen for the final message. What final messages do you have for the collective yin? Postponement, four swords again. Wow. Source keeps pulling this energy. In the masculine reading, it was the four of cups. So, um, you know, stilling the mind, not listening to those voices. Whereas this card refers to you are free. You can free yourself. And it has to do with perception. So we see that perception change taking place in the future. And then you're in a beautiful, loving state. Oh, God, that's awesome. I'm so fucking happy. So I accidentally opened it right to the Four of Cups. So this was uh, the Masculine's card, right? Um, the Four of Swords. Okay. So the woman in this picture is living in a gray landscape full of unreal cutout clouds. Through the window frame, she can see colors of light and aliveness. And although she would like to move through the frame, as we can see by the rainbow colors appearing in her garment, she can't quite manage to do it. There is still too much what if activity in her mind. Tomorrow never comes, they say, but no matter how often it is said, it seems that most of us tend to forget the truth of it. In fact, the one and only result of postponing things is a dull and depressing feeling of incompletion and stuckness today. The relief and expansiveness you will feel once you put aside all those dithering thoughts that are preventing you from acting now will make you wonder why you ever waited so long. So uh, the masculine and feminine are, are getting similar messages from the universe to put away those negative thoughts. Focus on the positive. Free yourself see the the rainbow colors of life okay so i hope this helped you guys i'm sending massive love your way all right cheers don't forget to like share and subscribe